Hi folks, it's William with Quarantine Studio, here once again in the studio. Now today I have the Death Becomes Her kit with me, and you're going to see in an upcoming video how I paint the sheer stockings uh, on the uh, kit, as well as the sheer outfit. So I have a paint tutorial coming up on this, but in the interim, before we get to that, we want to talk about these little guys. Uh, you can see there's a small disc here in her foot. Um, this is a rare earth magnet and I have a reciprocating magnet here in the base. What this is going to do is hold that foot into place and so what I need to do is put another one up here in the top of the leg in order to hold it in place. Now why do we do this? Well uh, I know a lot of you in our contests and things like that and it's always a delicate procedure of transporting your models from one location to another. So, especially the figure models, this may be really handy for you. Uh, I've also used this in the case of some vehicle models where I wanted to keep a door in place or perhaps a canopy in place. Of course, I have to use much, much smaller magnets, uh, but it does work. And so, uh, that's what we're going to do here. So, that's it. Uh, installing rare earth magnets. Let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is, of course, uh, make a hole. Uh, I need to make a receiving hole here in the back of the skull and then one here in the leg. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and put this leg into place where I think it's going to be. And you can see it's not even holding in place right now uh, because I just have the one magnet in the toe. So I'm going to get this in place. I'm going to get the nice fit that I'm after. And then I'm going to use a pencil to mark the location. I'm just going to kind of mark a center point here. So I'm going to say right in here. Let's put a nice big mark there. And then I'm going to flip this over as best I can without moving it. Get that back into place. Come on, stay there you little rascal. And very carefully and gingerly mark another spot here on the back of the leg. Now, um, it's very difficult for me to get that into camera there, so because I'm having to hold it at such a weird angle. So these marks here are going to give me a target uh, zone here. And so I've got a mark here on his skull and one on the back side of the skull here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just connect those two. Just trying to draw as straight a line as possible. Nice. And that's going to give me a little bit of a, a target there for that. Now, um, what about the opposite direction? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark the skull here. You say, well, wait a minute, you don't have the leg on there. Nope, I sure don't. And that's going to be OK. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this. And I'm sure other people have other techniques for doing this, and that is absolutely okay. Basically, I'm just trying to get uh, a target zone here, a crosshair, if you will. We'll use a little bit of uh, blue painter's tape to hold the leg in place. So, And I didn't do that the first time. You say, well, why don't you use that blue tape the first time? Well, you're about to see why. Because it would cover up the spot where I was going to make the mark. On this particular mark, I don't have to worry about that a whole lot. All right, so I'm just kind of holding it here in place. And I'm going to flip it over here, and then I'm going to be able to mark the leg. Now, what I'm doing is just placing these marks kind of like a, like I said, like a cross here. And they're going to give me, well, kind of an area in which to start drilling the hole. Okay. So once again, now I have the uh, four marks here, okay. and I can just pretty much connect the dots here. So uh, trying to keep all of this in camera. Do I have to be dead on accurate with this? Well, no, not necessarily. I mean, be as accurate as you possibly can, you know but it doesn't have to be dead on perfect. So now I've got a nice little uh, crosshair here where this is going to go. Awesome, awesome, pretty good. And I'm going to do the same here for the skull. So I'm just connecting those lines. 
And I, I went ahead and pre-marked these lines because I knew they'd be difficult to reach. Uh, but I knew that if I could mark them on one piece, it'd be easy to transfer them to the second piece. So I wanted to kind of set this in the center of the skull. I wasn't worried about where it was going to hit the leg. So what I want to do is I want to get a drill bit here that's going to be the right size. I want something slightly larger than the uh, magnet that I have. So uh, in here, this is the really cool thing about it, is you can set it right on the end of the drill bit. And you can see, okay, is that big enough? Too big? That's not quite large enough. But because these are steel rods, basically, this magnet will stick right to it. Okay, so awesome. So this appears like it's going to work. I'm going to try to get that in the light. So you can see that the black of the drill bit is a little bit larger than the silver of the magnet. Pretty cool. So that's what I want. I don't want to go so large I'm going to start breaking up this piece, but I do need it large enough to give myself a little bit of wiggle room for the magnet. And I don't have to go too deep. And in fact, in this case, I probably went, I probably did go a little too deep. Uh, you really don't need that large of a pocket. It really depends on the magnet itself. So if I take this little magnet here, it's going to drop way down in there, a little too far. But that's okay because, well, I have some putty that's going to go in there. So that's why I made this a little oversized so that uh, I make room for the putty. The putty is not only going to hold this in place, but it's actually going to wrap around the magnet a little bit and, um, and cover it up. I'm going to have a little thin, maybe thin layer of putty over the top of that uh, so that I can paint right over it. All right. So this is going to blend right in. Not uh, anyone would ever see it, but just to give us a nice polished look. So um, there it is for this one. Now we just repeat the process uh, for the leg. I've marked the crosshairs and I'm just going to drill in the spot. Okay, small pocket in there. I'm going to test the fit here, see if this magnet will fit in there. And what I'm doing is I'm kind of looking at it from the edge as well. And this is much, much better. Um, a little bit shallower. I went a little too deep on this one, but that's okay. I'm going to backfill it. But on this one, it's almost perfectly flush with it. Great. That is going to be awesome. Um, just a little bit of putty, a little skim coat right over the top of it so I can paint it. And uh, that's going to be awesome. So um, we're going to glue this up and uh, get it ready to go.